tonight. Uh, I'm going to speak about uh, innovation ecosystems and I'm going to go with you uh, uh, and uh, share a doubt, uh, a doubt I have been building in this last, uh, let's say, year. We are used to a system uh, where no matter how complicated uh, is the way we represent it in a linear fashion or in a very spaghetti-wise or entangled fashion, uh, uh, it always goes from science uh, to economy to business. Uh, uh, having in mind that at the end of the day there is a clear leadership uh, that goes into the science domain. Uh, we have been in this couple of days discussing several things. Uh, are we sure uh, that this is still the case? Uh, are we sure that what mattered 10 years ago? I would like to say the last century uh, still matters today, but it's even more important, will matter tomorrow. Um, let me tell you what happened to me uh, months ago uh, when, as president of this association, I was in Abu Dhabi. And it happened to me to listen to two presentations. A presentation from a guy uh, promoting its technology park, very naughty one, explaining the structure uh, of the accessing uh, process, uh, how you get evaluated, how you get supported, how you get monitored, how you get guided through access capital, uh, and at the end of the day, are you graduated? I don't, I'm not going to say which technology, because it doesn't make any difference. And then this guy came, and he was the guy uh, who initiated this, uh, uh, this rover thing. Huh? The rover is this kind of uh, robot huh? that goes underwater and does exploration. It was a guy young, but ages doesn't matter. Uh, and he told, you know what happened? Uh, I was with friends, I dropped my keys in a cave underwater. Huh? I couldn't get them. So, a couple of days later, we were in a coffee, we were discussing with friends, eh? and we started to make sketches on paper. And then we shared this idea of having somebody that could help us to get keys eh? from the cave underwater. Eh? And we started to share this with the uh, uh, internet. Eh? And after a while, we got community. So we, from the stretches of paper at the back, we made something more structured. Uh, and so we got the project of the prototype. And then we needed to build it. Uh, so we went online, uh, we shot online, we bought all the components. Then we needed to do the, uh, the body. Uh, we need to frame, uh, a little frame to, to host the component. So we went to the maker's shop which was available from the municipality. We sat down, uh, in a couple of days we got our rover. And then we started to test it. Of course we couldn't find the keys, because keys were not there. But nevertheless, uh, and then the thing became viral. Uh, and from that little rover we created community. Uh, and now they're having kind of uh, open competition with the rover and it became something global. Huh? Kind of an open platform for these kind of things. They said, what? Structure process, application, evaluation, sub, uh, I mean, admission or not admission, support, consultancy, technology transfer, patenting, access to finance company creation, huh? and then this. Uh, recently, very recently, this came out. They say, you know guys, huh? 
uh, of course, universities are important. Of course, access to capital is important. Huh? But this is not enough. This is not sufficient. And they said, you know, guys, what counts, what matters. And we, have, and we have been listening to this several times. The entrepreneurial dimension, even more the entrepreneurial culture, huh? even more huh? how entrepreneurship shapes a place. Huh? Keep in mind the word place. Huh? They say what really matters, huh? and this is a study by these guys here, in US and UK, what matters is when this entrepreneurial culture uh, of the place interacts uh, with the knowledge and with the talents. And this makes the difference in terms of flourishing of innovation and entrepreneurship. Because as we said, uh, as we learned also yesterday, innovation and entrepreneurship, they go together. Uh, and we know that now companies uh, are shaped or have different needs than in the past. Huh? Uh, we learned this several times, I'm not going to, to spend so much time here, but there is a key huh, focus on people, uh, on their ambitions, on their dreams, on their capability to deliver, huh? of them being entrepreneurial. And then we heard this word several times today and yesterday, network connection, uh, this matters the most. Uh, sometimes they say, you know guys, we look, we love to look at our daily pattern. Uh, this doesn't pay anymore. Being open is what changes the rules. And uh, another important thing, it was highlighted a little bit yesterday, uh, being able to iterate, 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 iterate with uh, customers uh, to find out the right business model. And this requires a special focus. Uh, and then being lean and fight fast, fast. I mean, this has been said billions of times. So, and then we know that now the thing is digitalized, uh, dematerialized, demonetized, uh, thank God, uh, more democratic. Huh? So, when it goes to ecosystem, which means when it goes on how on a systemic base, huh, we organize ourselves to support innovators. Huh? Are we sure? that we are doing the right things, having this in mind. Uh, do we need to change something? Huh? Do we need to have a different kind of leadership? And is there a different focus huh, in terms of, let's say, place? And uh, this is what we found out, and this is the core for the last six minutes. We have two ecosystems, huh? traditional one and new one. Now, don't ask me if traditional is better than new, if the word traditional huh? uh, is not as, as, not as good meanings as the word new, huh? because this is not the fact. Point. The point is that there are big differences, uh, big differences in the way ecosystems are set up. Somebody said that there are 80 billion euro uh, available for research and innovation. This is horizon 2020. If you take into consideration European structural investment funds, uh, you can easily add uh, another 160 billion. So it's something like 
240 billion to be spent in Europe in the next seven years, maybe six, yeah? because one is already done. What about if you are spending this money in the wrong way? Hmm? Or, better say, if you are spending this money not in the most effective way. So, traditional ecosystems, or the ecosystems that we have used so far, they're very much technology-based. Huh? Everything starts from a technology. When you enter the incubator, huh, the first questions are about how innovative your technology is. Is this correct? Huh? Does it sound familiar to you? It does a lot to me. In the new ecosystem, uh, there is a strong focus on users. The first question they ask you is, how many users have you reached out? Uh, what was their feedback? It sounds very different. Huh? Size. Current ecosystems, uh, they are sized oriented. Uh, SMEs. Uh, SMEs is connected to the size of the company, small and medium, or even micro SMEs. Uh, there is no reference to their stage, their age. Uh, the new ecosystems, they don't matter about the size. On the other side, they would like to have companies that grow fast and become big, uh, as fast as possible. They, uh, they are based around the concept of the, let's say, stage uh, and scale up, which is not connected to a definition based on size. The current ecosystems are very regionalized. Hmm? Companies from a specific area have to apply. Hmm? So it matters where your company is based if you want to get support. New uh, ecosystems are pretty much global oriented. I don't know if you are familiar with e residency in Estonia. Uh, traditional or current ecosystems are very much cluster based. Huh? Of course, concentration matters. Huh? And nevertheless, very much focus on a industry. Eh? The new ecosystem are very much driven by diversity. Diversity matters, contamination. Eh? The European Commission also created a very amazing password, related variety, eh? which is whatever it says eh? from that specific knowledge. Uh, Current ecosystems are very much concerned uh, of engaging local know-how. I guess that you are familiar with list of consultants you can access as long as they live nearby you. And how much is difficult to use public support uh, to buy know-how and advice from another country. They say it's not possible. It's not located here. Uh, the new system is open, it's collaborative, eh? doesn't care where the knowledge is as long as you access it. It's peer-to-peer, -peer. this is important. Eh? You would like to receive support, feedback, idea from somebody like you, like us. Eh? You would like to share things on the same days. Hmm? Not to listen to somebody because, sorry to say, yeah, he's a university professor or an academic, yeah? or because he's a consultant or advisor. Huh? You want to listen to him because he's a guy who's suffering the same pain, or a woman huh, who is sharing the same problems. Infrastructure-based plays, uh, container, incubators, they're localized. Uh, 
um, Nicholas was telling me this morning that there is a new generation of accelerators. Huh? They say, we don't even want a working space. We don't even want a place to go for our people. Huh? Because it's not important where they sit. Huh? It's important the interaction, the collaboration, the networking. And sometimes it's better to have a party and a glass of bad beer huh? than having the possibility to sit together. Huh? Somewhere. Uh, money, crowdfunding bank, huh? open or paid by technology transfer offices. So, in what matters? The density, huh? of course, and density now calls for a new dimension, which is the urban dimension, cities. Huh? And cities worldwide, huh? at least the far advanced ones, huh? are starting to build their entrepreneurial ecosystem. Huh? And building an entrepreneurial ecosystem is having in mind, huh, fostering innovation of course, being able to serve the new wave of companies and businesses, huh, means public procurement, open data, huh, social programs. Kindergartens huh, matters more than venture capital funds. Uh, it's not just money. And, last but not the least, we need, in terms of challenges in front of us, to understand that everything is connected to entrepreneurial talent circulation, which means places, cities, uh, we compete with each other uh, to retain and attract the best people. And retaining an attraction, I will go with easy access, accessibility, and open infrastructures, huh? um, community services, community-based services, being tested for technology, and, and I know that business is far advanced here, uh, facilitating access to users and being a facilitator uh, towards the economy, which means open data, uh, which means kindergartens, which means support for young couples, uh, which means equal opportunities. Without equal opportunities, a strong a social policy, uh, Stockholm wouldn't become the innovation and entrepreneurship hub it is today. It's not technology. Uh, of course, education matters. But education, without entrepreneurship that gears knowledge to economy, forget it. So, challenges, new typology of business, huh? we are seeing differences there. The international dimension, the speed of transformation, huh? and the need to balance the hard infrastructure with the soft infrastructure, which are services, but not just financial services, not just business services, also social services, and the capability to build policy, urban policies, huh? which are not just connected to technology, sorry to say, but it's the big bullshit of smart cities, huh? technology oriented, but they are very much oriented huh? to entrepreneurship and social issues. How to use the new opportunities to attract and retain talents. Huh? So, what do we need? I don't know if we need to balance the two approaches, the size-based and the face-based, the new and the traditional, I don't know, but this is something we should ask to ourselves. We should ask ourselves if our place-based policies, like urban policies, are adequate, huh? and we must start mapping huh, what we have in hands huh, to understand if this will help for the future or not. Thank you very much.